Alrighty. Prep the controller. See what we get. First we'll see if this thing connects. And it did. Look at that. Where is it? No, it's not in the, it's in USB. There it is. So we want NES. There's the list. Let's see, we should be able to, yeah, there we go. Scrolling through, scrolling through. Do, 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 do. Should we play here? There's a lot of noise. That tends to happen when you go through a factory amp. L M. Couple of the standard Mario. Just find Super Mario. R S Simpsons. Smash TV. Let me a good one. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Probably not the most ideal scenario for playing a game on a on a radio. Yeah, guys, we were uh, it was the first level of uh, Super Mario Brothers on a uh, Volvo S60. All right, guys, there we go. Then we uh, are gonna die here. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So what else we got? We got internet. <laughs> I don't have very much Wi-Fi signal down here. I'm guessing the ideal scenario scenario you would like a uh, broadcast from your phone and just tether it or something. This is pretty cool though. I like it. It's noisy as crap, but that's just the adapter going through the factory amplifier, which will eventually get bypassed. Got to figure out how these how to run wires to the doors. These Volvos have a. Uh, a weird setup where they have a it's not just a tube 
on some of these cars. Like my car, it has a plug on the door and I can't actually run a wire through the door. Yeah, this thing worked pretty good though. Say it's my lineage, say it's my culture, say it's the that I The beeping is a little loud. But you can also just go in that way. First, let me get my thoughts in order. Bro, with me, had to see a shrink so I can still stay a little on my spot. A little high up. Never thought the hurt inside was this enormous. Had a few disorders, always knew I wasn't normal. Start from beginning. How was I living? Who taught me? Grandma did it. She taught me vision. Her great sight. I got a visit. I showed you missing. I saw this. Dirt day coming. Uh just in the house, just take it. Hard on pills, hospitals in and out. She told me, keep it together. Couldn't do the measures. Everybody wanted a treasure, but I'd rather have her forever. Guess this sort of selfish. Some shit I never yeah. dealt with. I miss all of them belches from that welcher. So that seven up gave me a heart that was light years ahead of us. I wonder why, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Living life without, I wasn't ready for. I'd probably never be better, bruh. Bur Music critic. To, uh, Reese Young. Yeah, so far this is a cool radio. <clears throat> so if anyone has uh, seen any of these Android radios and they've thought about getting one in the past, get one. <laughs> Don't get a super duper cheapo ass like hundred dollar piece of shit. This was almost three hundred dollars for this radio, but I've I've spent more than that on just a CD player uh, in the past for my car. But yeah, this was around two three hundred bucks. You want something that's got like thirty two gigs of onboard storage and like three gigs of RAM or so. That's what this has. So it seems to be like it's it's fast enough and snappy enough that. It's it'll load quick enough. It's not gonna leave you, you know, staring at the screen while you're driving, waiting for some shit to load. I'm gonna have to figure out how to turn off that beeping because that beeping is annoying. Yeah, we got GPS navigation, which this is probably gonna work better uh, if we tether a phone to it. So we can give it some better internet access. Because it does have GPS, but you do still need like the data to get the map data and all that. This is pretty cool though. Shut down ways. There we go. It's even compatible with a, a fairly wide variety of dash cameras. And you can do this will do since it's an Android radio. You can do like multitasking, so you can run stuff in the background. It, you can have a camera in the front, see it has front cam. And you can also do a backup camera, rear cam. This thing does tire pressure monitoring. Uh, and I haven't hooked it up yet, but we got torque. I gotta plug in the OBD2 thing. And there are ways to have the steering wheel controls work on these Atotos. I haven't, I haven't bothered trying to hook that up yet. Because you have to like uh, program it somewhere in here one of these things yeah before in the past if you wanted to like retain your steering wheel controls you had to get like a whole nother adapter that essentially was it was a universal remote that you would wire into the buttons and you would actually have to like hide a little LED emitter that would point at the radio. So whenever you hit one of these buttons, it would be just like you had a remote that was telling the radio what to do. So it was just turning your steering wheel into a into a remote. But this actually has some way to directly connect with the data wires, which scares me, so I'm 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 not going to mess with it yet. You know, there's there's a lot of stuff that's changed on uh, car audio in the last few years, but that is still kind of sketchtacular for me. So far, this looks pretty cool, though. I see there's steering wheel control setup. That's weird. Press and hold the button on the steering wheel to learn matching. Yeah, learning and matching. Scary. Scary as hell. <laughs> 
not gonna mess with that yet. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see if it kills the battery. I guess we get to leave the Nintendo controller in the car. <laughs> That's gonna be the remote for the car now. All right. <laughs> 